In this video, we'll be discussing the incident that occurred outside the EF headquarters in Johannesburg, where tensions escalated between EF officials and a group of white Africaners. The clash was triggered by a controversial song sung by EF President Julius Malima at the party's recent 10th anniversary celebration over the weekend. This song, also known as Kill the Boer, Kill the Farmer, has been a subject of controversy and has raised tensions between different groups in South Africa. Some see it as an incitement to violence against South Africa's white population, while others see it as merely a part of the history of black South Africans in their struggle against apartheid and oppression. What are your thoughts on the song? Tell us in the comments section below. So a group of white farmers, apparently armed, gathered in front of the EFA offices to highlight that the song apparently incites violence against them. This was also on a day when the EFF was holding a press conference. However, the situation took a turn for the worse when the Africaners tried to attend an EF press briefing and were denied entry, leading to a physical altercation between the two parties. It escalated into a scuffle as EFS Secretary General Marshal Dlamini and CCT member Vianney Pambo intervened to remove the Africaners from the premises, leading to a physical altercation. The incident was captured on video and went viral on social media, sparking widespread criticism of the EFS handling of the situation, while others praised the EFF for standing their ground against intimidation. What do you think of the incident? Leave your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. It's essential to note that this is not the first time the EFF has been involved in conflicts with white Africaners. The party has faced accusations of using inflammatory rhetoric against this particular group, leading to several incidents of violence in recent years. EF leader Julius Malama stood firm on his right to sing the Kill the Boa song, stating that it falls under free speech and is allowed in the politically contested arena. Malama insists that the courts have ruled on the matter and he will continue to sing the song whenever and wherever he wishes. And there you have it, the details of the clash between white Africaners and EF officials outside the party's headquarters. The incident highlights the deep divisions that still exist in South African society. As we await further developments, we'll keep you updated on this situation and other breaking news from around the world. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more updates.